Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on graph. In this video, we will learn how to find some graphing solutions from the given equation. The equation here is, draw the graph of y equals 2 minus x squared plus 2x plus 4. Use the graph to find approximate value for minimum, right? So, and B is gradient of the tangent at x equals to minus 1, correct? So, that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let us see how to draw the graph. So, when it is draw the graph, you have to find few points, at least five, right? So, to find the points, coordinates of the points, what we'll do here is that we'll calculate the values for different values of x. The equation is y equals to minus x square plus 2x plus 4. So we'll take some values of x and then calculate what is minus x square, what is 2x, we'll add 4 to it and once we do all that we'll get the y values right. So that is how we are going to build it up right. It's a good practice to start with 0. So let's start with 0. So if I put 0 for x, in that case, we get 0 here, 0 here, and 4. That is the y-intercept. For 1, it will be minus 1. This will be 2. That will be always 4. Now we get 6 minus 1 as 5. For 2, we get minus 4. That is plus 4 and 4, and this cancels and we are left with 4. So this graph basically, as the equation suggests, we are looking for a parabola, which is kind of like this, right? So what we have already noticed is that we got a maximum value of 5 and kind of symmetrical values there. 3. 3 is 9, so minus 9. 3 times 2 is 6, and this will be 4. So 10 minus 9 is 1. For 4, we get minus 16. 4 times 2 is 8, and that is 4. 12, we get minus 4 here, right? Let's take uh, some values on this side now, minus 1. So that will give us minus 1 here, minus 2, and then 4. And that gives you a value of 1. So you can now see the symmetry. 5 being the maximum, and you get 4, 1, 4, 1 on either side. So actually, we are good to now sketch this particular parabola. We clearly know that the maximum value is 5, and uh, the x values which we have chosen is from minus 1 to 4. So we'll focus more on the right side. We need to keep uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Okay, so let's do like this. Right, so let's keep it like this as the horizontal x axis. Since we have taken more positive values, we'll just uh, draw the y axis slightly on the left. To sketch the points, we may begin with the maximum itself. So, so we clearly see that this gives you maximum. At 1, we have 5, right? And then that becomes the axis and we can plot the other points. So, so at 1, we have 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then at 2 and 0, we have 4. So from the symmetry, we can get those points. Then we have 1. So we have 1 here. And then we have minus 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We can also place this point at minus 4. So that gives you the graph. We can actually sketch this parabola. So moving upwards, kind of like this. Smooth curve. Right? You see this. And then we'll go down in this fashion. Right? So we have this graph. So it has to touch it anyway, not bad. So we have a parabola which represents the given equation, which for us is y equals to minus x squared plus 2x plus 4. 
perfect. So we had done the first part. Now, second part is use the graph to find the approximate value of the maximum. So clearly the maximum is the turning point, right? So, so we have the maximum value, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So this is 5 for us. Now this is y-axis. That is the x-axis, correct? This is 0. So we have maximum value as 5. Gradient of the tangent at x equals to minus 1. So at this point, we have to draw a tangent line and then find its gradient, right? So uh, let's sketch one. We'll find rise over run uh, with the help of this particular tangent. So, so what we will do here is uh, let's draw a tangent here. So, uh, okay. So, what we can do is okay. so you know it could be something like this. You know, so you just place this line so that's just tangent at this particular point, and this is going to be an approximate value. So let's draw the tangent. So we have drawn the tangent at x equals to minus one. Now we need to find the slope of this particular <coughs> tangent. So the slope we can now calculate with rise and run. So one of the good points which this tangent has passed through is definitely here. And then we have this point itself. So we can find the slope as rise over run, correct? So at this stage, the change in y value is 1, 2, 3, 4. And change in x value is one unit, right? And of course the slope is positive. So we get the gradient as ratio of change in y over change in x. In this case, it is 4 over 1. So the gradient is 4, right? So the graph can help us to estimate the, the slope at any particular point, right? So that gives you the slope of the tangent at any particular point. Remember that slope at the turning point will always be zero, right? So the maximum is a turning point where the slope is going to be zero. So I hope that helps you to understand how you can use the graph for different things. As an exercise, what you can do here is you can actually find solution of some other equation given the graph, right? So for example, your question could be find solution for x square, let's keep it minus x square, okay, x square minus x minus 1, right? If you have to find solution of this equation, how will you do using the given graph, right? So let this be a question for you. Let's say we write this as equal to 1, okay? Let me write it like this, right? So if you have an equation, minus x square minus x equals to 1, then using this graph, how will you find solution for this equation, right? So that is your thinking question. I'd like you to go through the link provided, which can give you help in solving such questions. I hope you understood the process. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.